Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. The big press is here and it's amazing. Uh, the big press arrived like one week ago and it wasn't easy to get it in. It was terrible snowstorm and we had to get bigger forklift to get it out from the truck. But it went pretty nicely. There's beyond the press video about that. And today next big upgrade is going to arrive. I think this might be I think this is going to affect as much as the new press. We are going to build a bunker and the bunker walls should arrive at any moment and I think it's not going to be any easier than with the big press. So let's see how it goes. And of course we are going to keep the old press. It's part of the history of the channel and it's easier to use on some projects because it's not inside of the bunker. And of course we are going to use it way less in the future, so I'm going to declare that it survived the YouTube. Here is the only thing that ever broke, one hydraulic hose. Okay, the truck is here at any moment now. And the truck driver called and said that he's really busy. So we are going to be ready when he arrives. And uh, we are a bit worried that the road is too tight because there is so much snow and it's a big ass truck but let's see how it goes and the operation started really nicely because the truck fits just nicely on our road and this was maybe a bit of my mistake i haven't been ordering like huge stuff lately or any of us haven't for the workshop so i forgot to warn about that the roads are quite narrow so don't get the biggest truck but this used to be quite normal sized truck for our workshop when we used the big lathe more many of the pieces came with trucks like that and I was quite worried about the weight of the walls because our forklift doesn't lift super much when the pieces are so large because the center of mass is pretty far out and this is about the maximum and they also said that they can't make them any thinner and when I saw these I realized that these are already quite thin. Nothing is going to fly through them that's sure but they have to be, like, be strong enough to be handled like this. And these are 100 millimeters and that was the thinnest that they said that it's like feasible to make on this size. And I think this is like perfect because our forklift just lifts them safely and they are still like not breaking when we are handling them here and i have to give a huge thanks to truck driver niemistö he knew much more about handling the concrete walls than we did he was like <laughs> many times like don't do that or it's going to break and uh, with the help of him we got them loaded there we just leave them out because uh, we were quite busy on Friday, I had to like film this video and do some other things. We are going to build the bunker next week. I think it's going to be probably like a couple days because we want to be really careful. First not to break the walls and then not to drop all like let them fall on top of anybody. They are really heavy even if they are like only 100 millimeters thick, they still weigh two tons so if you are uh, under that you are going to be dead and we don't want to <laughs> we don't want and all the walls are the same size 2.6 meters tall and 4 meters wide and then the first one that you see here that has the windows that we are going to look through then we have a couple of these just walls without any openings and then the last one is going to have door opening uh, I'm going to probably just put like steel steel plate there i'm going to make my own door it has to be bulletproof and i think you are going to see the uh, building of the bunker on beyond the press channel that's going to be happening next week so a bit over one week and the video is out so go subscribe to that channel also to see how this comes together okay that was exciting yeah. maybe a bit too much excitement <laughs> beyond the, the exciting <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I would say that nerve cracking. Yeah. Uh, I have lifted like plenty of heavy steel stuff. I don't know anything about concrete. Mm. Luckily, the uh, truck driver. Yeah, he, he, know, he, he, he knew. He knew very much. He knew a lot of about lifting concrete stuff. And I asked also tips for the getting them 
Yeah. Here. And that should be quite easy. And now we don't have to lift them anymore so high. Mm. That was terrifying. Yeah, it was. Oh, I, I, I couldn't almost breathe. <laughs> yeah, but uh, new press. That's amazing. Bunker is amazing. Mm -hmm. We are going to put uh, bulletproof windows there, steel door. Yep. And when that's up there, we don't need to ever stop because it's too dangerous. <laughs> Nothing is going to be too dangerous. And then the third thing are the new tools. And this, is, I think the new tools, I have already made quite many. And these are going to like, I think these are going to show how much better the new machine is. <laughs> because, Aww. because, because, because um, the force doesn't break stuff, it's the pressure. And pressure is force divided by area. And here is our old, like paper exploding, everything explodes under this. Baby exploder. <laughs> yeah. And this is the new guy. Look at him. This has the same surface pressure as this. So we can now explode much bigger things, much more paper, much more wood, much, much more, more, much more everything. And then here is the uh, just multipurpose tool. And then I'm going to make one like really large one. For big stuff. For big stuff. And then here is the uh, attachment for the worm makers. Mm. This is going to be excellent worm maker press. The reason why the power unit is so large is the fact that we want to get faster extrusions. Mm. So it's twice as fast. Yeah, and now there is so much room uh, stuff to uh, fly. Yeah. And with the full speed, it generates almost, actually it generates about the same amount of force with the full speed as this, but the full speed is just twice as fast. Mm. And, or actually it's like this get, this slows down when this hits something, that doesn't slow down. <laughs> so guess what? The orange through one millimeter hole, oh. it's going to fly like four times as fast. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really exciting. And I'm a bit afraid is the, did I make this bit too thin? But the tools, I think they're going to turn out excellent. And also one, one thing about the tools, especially the bigger one that I'm not done with yet, it's going to be like 100 kilos. So mm -hmm. we cannot lift these anymore by hand. And also they are like quite dangerous if they fall on your hand. So I made this here, this groove is going to hold them up and I'm going to put two screws on both of bolts on both sides so they're going to be really well attached and they're not going to fall on my hand. And then we are going to make attachment for the crane so we can lift this. And then on the bunker roof we are going to make a hatch that you can open and lower the yeah. tools down with the crane because you are not going to anymore lift this. Yeah, not even you. Yeah. And then you might already forgot, but the new 4K Kronos camera is coming. Yeah. Actually, I haven't checked what is the schedule. I think the, uh, like when we last thought, talked, they said that it's in February, so could arrive quite soon. I'm not sure if it's still the case, but it's going to arrive. Then, uh, because now it's like confined space and stuff is going to fly there, no more safety box. We got like two really good ideas. Mm -hmm. Which one they'll first? The Gale one. Yeah, the Gale one. You might remember Gale Bob No Pants. We are going to upgrade him. I'm going to <laughs> get like full like ballistic mannequin. Uh, I think I'm going to order it from Clear Ballistic because they have their own mixture that's like, I think it's oil based and it doesn't rot at all. It stays good forever. So we can have always guys standing there <laughs> on the press bunker. And uh, I think we need name for him. Yeah, we definitely. Or could be also she. 
Well, yeah, true. Should be two. <laughs> kel <laughs> pop, no <laughs> pants and kel. Kel. You oh, can suggest yeah. <laughs> the names and should we get one or two? Yeah. I think it would be good to have like representation of both of yeah, us. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, we are going to put two guys there or yeah. one guy and girl. And then I want to see what happens when shit flies on the bunker. So we're going to put a 360 degree camera yeah. on middle of the bunker. So whenever like pachum, something flies off the press, yeah. you are going to see where it hits and how hard it hits. Yeah, and you are going to see our reactions. Uh, yeah, more. because yeah, because we are looking from the windows, the yeah. bulletproof windows. If we are not too scared. <laughs> yeah, like this. <laughs> I think I think there is there are going to be videos yeah. where we are too scared. Yeah. Hey, hey, and I, I have I have more upgrades. This is not even on the video. I post this. So this is going to be on the wall like this. And it has yeah. a touch screen. And we are going to operate the press from here. And we are going to run screen capture software on this. So you are going to see all the settings as we do them. Yeah. And also the data like the position and the pressure and everything about the press. I asked could they add HDMI, so I could just capture the screen, but they said that we can add, add Ethernet port and you yeah. can like operate it also from computer. So that's really that's nice. That's really nice. That's spot on. So now if we want to like increase pressure or something, we don't have to stop the thing Ooh. and go to the press. We can do it outside. Mm. Yeah, and the time schedule from now on. Uh, next week we are going to lift the walls. Uh, there was uh, one, <laughs> there was slight oh. mishap <laughs> with our fourth wall. Uh, it was at the truck company or the concrete company. It was some other company that was operating the crane on the same yard. And it was during the snowstorm and they accidentally drove over our wall. <laughs> yeah, and it broke. It broke. <laughs> so it, they need yeah. to do a new one. Yeah, but it's going to arrive next week. And I think the first video is going to be about crushing paper. Mm. So we don't need the four. four. Yeah. And also the roof is not even started. I'm going to make it myself here out of steel. It would be too heavy as a concrete piece. We couldn't lift it there. Yeah, so next week, cr crushing A4 paper pile with 300 ton press, hopefully, yeah. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. And as said on the beginning, we are not going to get rid of this. No. This is going to be here. And it's good because if something terrible happens, now when we are going to ramp up things up and the big one breaks, then we can continue with this while we are repairing the big one. But it's quite easy to get like spare parts from the factory and stuff like that. So I don't think that if we break something, it's quite easy to fix. Was it that all? I think there was all. Yeah, if you, are, if you want to see more detailed hmm. videos about building everything, go subscribe to Beyond the Press channel. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.